century, Ford has been making cars in Australia, including three million of its iconic Falcon. At its peak, it sold around 170,000 cars a year. But the glory days are gone, with those numbers slashed by rising costs and a higher dollar. The last Ford will roll off the production line next week, with the loss of thousands of manufacturing jobs. Emily Stewart takes a look in the rear vision mirror and the road ahead for Ford as an importer. I'm a proud owner of a 1965 XP Falcon Coupe. I've never really known anything else. Ford has been it for uh, my entire life. Dad always had Fords. Um, and when I was young, this was but a dream. Con DeLosantis is a passionate Ford man and has been a member of the early Falcon Car Club for 15 years. Cars like this, they're not made like this anymore. This is a you know, a really beautiful car to drive and she's taken us lots of places. Real big family kind of effort that goes in as well. Uh, my wife loves the car, so do my kids. And this car was made at Ford's Victorian plant at Broadmeadows. Ford cars have been manufactured in Australia for 90 years. The Falcon is its best seller. First produced in 1960, more than three million have since rolled off the production lines. But with Ford shutting down local manufacturing next month, the iconic Falcon is being discontinued forever. Ford is a lot more than just the car, it's part of Australian history. People like myself in clubs that own a little bit of history, a chunk of history, are in many respects going to be that living uh, embodiment, if you like, of Ford moving forward because we're never going to see an era like this again. Yeah, so it's quite sad. Ford's heyday was the early 80s when it was the market leader. Its most successful sales year was 1985, selling 171,000 cars and making $2 billion in revenue. But that's dropped to just 46,000 sales last year. High costs and a high Aussie dollar made the future of car manufacturing untenable. The federal government provided $30 billion in subsidies between 1997 and 2012, which stalled the inevitable. But despite the big investment from taxpayers, Holden and Toyota are also ending local production in the next year. It's a, a feeling of um, acceptance, albeit resigned acceptance and, and very sad emotions. Closing the plants will mean up to 7,000 manufacturing jobs will go. But Ford claims it will be the largest auto employer after 2017. The Broadmeadows head office is currently under reconstruction and will hold a design and virtual reality centre. Geelong will have research, development and testing facilities. All up, Ford will retain 1,500 employees. They're hiring people at the moment to uh, provide new impetus to them when it comes to design and innovation. Uh, and you know, I think there's enormous potential from talking to Ford about Australia becoming a, an innovation and design hub for the company globally. So that's exciting. Holden plans to keep its world-class vehicle design team in Melbourne. It will employ more than 400 engineers, designers and technical training staff. And Toyota will keep its vehicle evaluation, engineer and training facilities in Victoria, but the company will employ just 130 staff. It's the flow-on effects to the whole supply chain that will have the biggest impact. A 2014 Productivity Commission report estimates up to 40,000 people down the auto supply chain could be sacked as businesses close. But that's likely to be staggered over several years. Some suppliers already have deals with global manufacturers. We're aware of up to 50 supply chain companies that will continue to supply the automotive industry globally. Um, and, and there are a number of other companies that have diversified already into fields such as rail, consumer products, food manufacturing, uh, construction. Australians are still buying over a million new cars every year, so post-2017 all cars will be imported. Ford will import the Focus and Fiesta as part of their global range and hopes its new releases, the Ranger truck, Everest SUV and Halo model, the Mustang, will be popular.
the market's retail value is over $35 billion. Our automotive industry in Australia will be 100% consumers and no producers. Um, so it will leave a major economic hole and, uh, and all those cars will have to be funded uh, through other exports or borrowings. So it's going to leave a big dent in our balance of payments as well. Con De Los Santos is one of those keen to buy another car, but he'll stick with classic cars made locally. I've certainly always been a Ford man, always will be. It's just always something that, it's, it's interesting, you get into a hole and you, you don't feel at home. Really weird. <laughs>